Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at passing array parameters. So if you remember from the, from the previous tutorials, we were making an application that dealt with arrays. So let's go ahead and open that back up. So you'll, you should see it in your recent projects. If not, you can come up to File, Open Project, or you can open the file. So let's go ahead and zoom in some here. Now if you, you can see here that we have button reverse, button sort array, and button add array. So what we want to do is um, fix a couple things here and make our code a little bit better. Now if you had noticed that if you run the program and click sort array, it'll freeze up and crash because the argument cannot be null. Basically what this means is not all of the values in your array have been, or not all the indexes have been set to a value. So what we can do is we will come in here and we'll double click on form 1. And now we'll come up here and find these lines of code that assign values to each item in string classes. And we're just going to go ahead and cut those out. And then we'll go ahead and add them to the form 1 load. So basically what this does is once the form opens, the, every single index of the array has been set to a value, and we won't have to worry about that. Okay, so now you can see we have a for each loop in each one of these um, button handlers. Now, there's an easier way to do this. We can make a sub that will do this for us. And to do this, we're going to need to pass an array as a parameter. So we'll go ahead and come down to right under clear list and we will start off by creating a private sub so private sub and then we'll just call this add items to list and now for our arguments we're going to go ahead and type by val um, arg array as string so you can see it'll automatically in the sub for us. So whenever we call add items to list, we're gonna it's gonna be required that we pass an array to it because we have these parentheses right here, which tells the compiler compiler that this is an array. So now what we need to do is um, enumerate the array. So we'll go ahead and use a for each loop. So for each item as string in arg array we're going to go ahead and add that to the list so we'll just go ahead and comment this so add array item to list and we'll just type list arrays dot items dot add and for the arguments we'll just add item okay so now we can just go ahead and minimize this here and we can also minimize clear list because we're not going to be changing that now we'll come up here to our button add array and we're going to take out this for each loop. So now we're only going to need two things two things in button add array. So we'll just go ahead and type add items to list and for our arguments we're going to type string classes. And we're going to need parentheses because it is an array. or never mind we aren't going to need those we just need to put in string classes and the compiler um, already knows that it's an array so we can go ahead and do this for each of the other subs and for these we're only going to need three lines so we can just go ahead and type add items to list string classes and we can do that one more time for button reverse So add items to list and string classes. Now if we go ahead and run this, you can see that we get add array elements, sort array, and reverse array. And when we click on this, it will add them to it. We can also sort the array and reverse the array, and you can see that everything works fine. Now I taught you how to pass um, arrays as arguments, but there's also something that you really need to get from this tutorial is that 
you can create subs or functions that will do stuff for you and it'll keep you from having to type a lot of excess code so by creating add items to list we only needed to make one for each loop and we had the argument right here if we didn't we would have to have a for each loop for each one of these subs and this makes it easier uh, so that you don't have to write so much code and copy and pasting is always bad because you're probably going to forget something and you'll find that happening to you a lot if you copy and paste so um, go ahead and create a couple functions or subs and pass arrays to them um, you can do whatever you want with them once they're in that sub um, and then once you know how to do that and you're not going to forget it go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching